Welcome to your Tesla. This video will provide a high-level overview of the essentials you need to know to take your first drive. If the door handle is retracted, press it and it will present so you can get inside. When you want to get out, press this button with your thumb. Your Tesla comes with these backup key cards. You should always keep one with you, and you'll use one to set up your primary key. Your phone. Make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on. Open the Tesla app, select phone key, and then follow the prompts. Once set up, as long as your phone is with you, your car will automatically unlock as you approach it, power on for driving when you press the brake pedal, and lock as you walk away. Tap here, or swipe here, to reveal your controls menu, which gives you quick access to functions you'll use most. Tap to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your settings. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust its position and lumbar support. To adjust the steering yoke, select it on the touchscreen and then use the left scroll wheel. Tap mirrors and use the same left scroll wheel to adjust each side view mirror. Finally, tap to save these settings to your profile. To drive, simply buckle up with your phone key in the car, press the brake pedal, and then go to the touchscreen. Swipe down here for reverse, and up for drive. Tap here to put it in park yourself. Otherwise, your Tesla will automatically put itself in park once you come to a complete stop and unbuckle. Once your car is in park, you can get out. There's no engine to turn off. Your Tesla powers off automatically once you get out and close the doors. If you'd like your Tesla to automatically shift itself out of park, go to Controls, Pedals and Steering, and then enable Auto Shift Out of Park. With this setting on, when you press the brake pedal while in park, your Tesla will automatically decide between drive and reverse according to your surroundings. The intended direction is indicated on the instrument cluster. Confirm that your desired drive mode is selected and just press the accelerator to go. Swipe on the touchscreen to select a different drive mode. Your cabin has a stockless steering column. Activate your turn signals by using these buttons on the left side of the yoke. Touch lightly and your signal will flash for as long as you hold the button. A firmer press fully engages your signal and keeps it on until you make your turn. You can also disengage the signal by pressing the button again. Touch here to flash your high beam headlights. Press firmer to fully engage or disengage your automatic high beams. If you prefer to dim your high beams manually, you can toggle auto high beam by selecting controls and then lights. Press firmly here on the right side of the yoke to honk your horn. Touch lightly here to wipe the windshield once and bring up the wiper controls on your instrument cluster. Use the left scroll wheel to select between wiper speeds or set them to auto. A firmer press on the wiper control will spray the windshield. Your Tesla has regenerative braking. As you lift off the accelerator pedal, your car will slow down while recapturing and returning energy to the battery pack. It can take a few miles to get used to it, but it maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making it easier to drive. As you ease off the accelerator at low speeds, your Tesla will also apply the friction brakes to bring you to a gentle stop and hold you there. This makes stop and go driving possible using the accelerator pedal only. Of course, as with any other car, press the brake pedal when you need to decelerate rapidly. When you're ready to charge, here's how to plug in. Point the connector at your charge port and press here to open it, or press on the charge port door itself. The port glows white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. Firmly plug in the connector and the port will pulse green once charging begins. To unplug, press and hold the connector button and remove the connector once the port turns white. Your charge port door will close automatically. More information is available in your on-screen owner's manual. Open your controls menu and tap service, owner's manual, and then search for any topic.